So if you want to display a numeric value like the one at the top of my script as a currency value in JavaScript, there are a number of challenges. First of all, you have to add the currency symbol. Second, there's the comma notation, which changes depending upon the size of the value. And finally, the formatting varies by country. So it's a very common situation that you would need to do this, and it would be a bit of a nightmare to program yourself. Thankfully, in JavaScript, there is a very well-supported internationalization API that I'm going to show you how you can use in this video. Now, the feature of the internationalization API that we are going to be using in this tutorial is called number format. And the good news is that it's very well supported across browsers, so we don't have to worry. This feature is even supported by Internet Explorer. So the way that we can access the internationalization API is INTL. And within the API, we want to access the number format object. Now, this number format object is actually an object constructor that is going to create an object for us. And we're going to be using a method called format on the object it creates. But first of all, we need to create that object. And so to do that, we need to pass in two arguments to number format. So the first argument we need to pass in is the display style. So typically this would be ENUS for American English. In this string, it's the language first and the country second. So you could have ENGB if you wanted British English. Typically, these are the same. So if you wanted Italian, it would be IT for both. Now, a little trick here is to make this dynamic by detecting the preferred language of your user. So the way that you can do that is to say window.navigator.language. That's going to return the preferred language of your user. So I'm just going to log that to the console. That should be ENUS for me. Head over here. I need to open the console ENUS. So an alternative to hard coding is to insert this dynamically based upon the user language preference. So I will save that first of all as a new variable. And then in place of this string, I'm going to enter user language and that's going to be determined for me. Now, moving on to the second argument, this has to be an object in which you specify two properties. The first one is style. And the style of this will always be the same if you want to format a value to a currency and the value is simply currency. And the reason we have to do that is because number format is versatile and can format numeric values in different units other than currency. Now we actually specify the currency we want to format our numeric value in. So I'm going to enter USD here for US dollars. Now, because number format is an object constructor, I need to add the new keyword at the beginning of this to create a new instance of it. So this is going to create a new object of type number format, and I want to save that object in a new variable, and I'm going to call that formatter. And now with the configuration that I've given to formatter, I can go ahead and format this value up here as currency. So to do that, I use the format method available on the formatter object. And, and the formatter object is configured to format the numeric value we have at the top of the script as USD currency in the user language preference, which is English US style. So the final step is just to pass the value inside of this method and then I'll save this to the output variable and that should render it to the DOM. Okay, so I've got a problem here. Value currency out of range. Okay, so I missed out a C on the currency. So let me go back, correct that, save it. And now it should print to the DOM. So there's our numeric value nicely formatted in US dollars. Now we can change the currency denomination quite easily. So let's do it in pounds sterling GBP. We could have it in Japanese yen. So the internationalization API is doing all of the hard work. Now you can see that every time I want to change the currency, 
I'm going back into the configuration and changing the value of currency and that's working just fine but I might want to put all of this functionality in a module and import it or at least put it in a function at the bottom of my script in which case I can't access it from outside. So what I can do is encapsulate all of this functionality in a reusable function that will make this much easier to deal with and, and I won't have to get into the messiness of configuring the number object each time. So I'm going to copy and paste all of this into this new function and I'm going to call this function format currency. As parameters, I don't need to specify the user language because that's being done dynamically for me at the moment. Currency remains the same. So I only need two parameters for the value, first of all, will be the first parameter. And the second is the currency that I want to format that value in. So instead of this hard-coded string down here, that is going to be the value of currency. I still need to apply the format method passing in the value. What I'm going to do inside this function is use it directly on the newly created object rather than saving it in a variable and then applying it to that. So I'm passing in value, the value of the value parameter. Now the result of this, I don't want to store this in a variable. I want to make this directly, I can make this the new return value of this function. So now I should be able to use this function. So I'm going to use it. So the result is output to the DOM here. So I'm going to say format currency, and I'm going to say the value is 1950. And I want that to be displayed in USD. And I have to specify that within a string. And I can change that to pounds, or we can say yen. So the beauty of this is I could store this functionality in another module, just import the function, and then I can format a value in whatever currency I want without having to go back into this function, find it within a module or at the bottom of my script and change currency within it. And of course, if I wasn't to create a function and I wanted multiple currencies, I'd have to repeat this code twice. So using it this way is a nice and efficient way of formatting a numeric value to a currency value. So that is it for this short tutorial. If you would like to see more content like this from us, don't forget to subscribe to the channel.